for Brentford. In it comes, it goes very deep towards the back post where it's nodded back in by Pinnock. And then Lloyd Kelly was in the box. There's a shout for, from both teams for a foul and a chance for Arnout Danjuma. Now Brentford have thrown everybody up and Arnout Danjuma might have the pace to get away. Danjuma's to on goal here. Arnout Danjuma! Yes! Bournemouth in front after only five minutes of the game. Brentford have thrown everybody forward for a corner. You don't leave Dan Juba unattended because that's what he does to you. And after only five minutes, Bournemouth find themselves 2 0 up on aggregate. Well, absolutely in in incredible. I don't know how he got free. I don't know why there was no <laughs> Brentford defenders there, but he, he ran half the length of the pitch. The intensity of the game continues as Dow's guards ball in. Tony knocks it in. The opportunity on the right hand side for Marcondes. There's a handball shout against Lloyd Kelly. And it's a penalty. A penalty has been given against Lloyd Kelly for a handball at the near post. Time. He'll approach it now. Right footed. And he finds the net. It's 1 1 on the day. And 2 1 to the Cherries on aggregate. Partovic and Tony were having a right old tussle. And then Lerma and Janelt came together. And then Mepham takes a bit of a touch. And a Burmo through. Mepham's brought him down. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Chris Mepham has been sent off. He tangled with Mbermo, they got caught up together. Sliding in on Mbermo, Jensen with an early cross in, might run for Marcondes, Lerma into the box, and the shot goalwards! Oh, it's a fantastic strike from Vitali Janelt! He ran onto the ball as part of a challenge and it looped. And if the Cherries get there, Mepham suspended. Centre half issues, the ball to the left hand side for Marcondes now, drives it across the goal! Marcus Horse has turned it over, Brentford! The Cherries have stood firm for half an hour!